guys welcome back to my channel this vlog i'm going to be sharing with you guys the birth story of my son i recently celebrated his birthday i don't know if this vlog will go up before the birthday vlog so guys please try and watch the video so i am probably sharing this video just to encourage anyone out there that is probably going through some trouble or some challenges just know that god got you well, thank you for always tuning in to watch my video if you're a new subscriber please kindly subscribe to my channel and if you're an old subscriber thank you for always tuning in to watch my video so guys so i'm going to be sharing the story of my son that i celebrated of recent he's six years old guys i am happy so I had him in the year 2015 and that was like three years after I had my first daughter. Okay, the pregnancy, the nine month journey was smooth, no challenges, everything was okay. Those early morning symptoms, I didn't experience all that. It was perfectly fine. After the nine months comes the delivery time, guys. I so the contraction started so it was increasing and increasing so i couldn't take the pain anymore so i know i was on the 31st which was on sunday so i have to endure the pain throughout that sunday then the following morning i have to ask my husband to take me to the hospital that i can't bear the pain anymore and guys before then i was always going for antenatal clinic okay so one of those my during one of those my visits for Antinetha, I had a one-on-one -on -one chat with my doctor. So we discussed on how we are going to have the baby. Like my first baby, I had it through cesarean section. So she was like, since you had it through cesarean section, so your your second baby, do you want it to be cesarean section as well? I said no, that I probably want to try vaginal section. So I was not booked for any cesarean section so i'm getting to so my husband took me to the hospital guys i'm getting to the hospital i was just two centimeters like with all the pain i've been going through for like 24 hours and just two i told the doctor i cannot endure the pain anymore that they should just like booked me for an emergency CS and that was a I had my baby guys I was so happy when the baby came the operation was smooth everything was fine we were okay and everybody was happy I had a baby boy after delivery you don't they don't discharge you immediately they have to watch you so you probably have to stay in the hospital for like two to three days just for them to monitor you and your baby so guys after three days that i had my baby i don't know what happened no. so guys from nowhere as in from nowhere the devil just used one one doctor i don't know one I, I don't know if i should call him a doctor so i've not seen that doctor before so he just came into my world so it was like uh, when was i operated like when did they did the surgery and they told him so it was like they should remove the plaster from that the where i had the cuts now and they should remove the plaster after three days that i should be fine and that was how the doctor just removed the plaster with force guys i felt one serious pain i was like ah, doctor you were just too ash with this thing it was like madam i'm sorry you know in my mind i was like are you a witch what kind of doctor that would treat a, a patient like that that was the beginning the genesis of my problem it's back to my story so that was i i noticed that there was some like i don't know if it's water or fluid i don't even know it was not coming out from the from the stitches i noticed it have to call my mom that was with me at the time so i called her attention to it she checked it and she was like this is water coming out from the stitches and she, it shouldn't be so she had to call the attention of the nurse so it was already late that was around 8 pm in the evening so they just came they tried to cover up the wound like 
cover it up so that the water will not be like coming out to mess up everywhere so the following morning the doctor have to call me guys guys you don't want to know what happened next it was hell so they came in they check and i was told that the wound has contacted an infection Maybe if it was the ant doctor using removing the the plaster i don't just know but the wound got infected so guys they have to open up the stitches like open up the stitches as if that was not enough you know when you have a new like you have a new injury now fresh injury and they now grand atarodo pepe those pepe better atarodo now you know after grinding it pouring it on the fresh wound that was what i experienced after opening the stitches guys experience of even opening the stitches was painful they have to start treating i don't know what chemical they use i don't know what spirits they use guys i went through hell it was so painful so so painful they have to clean up the wound after doing all the cleaning they have to now like bandage it up with cut the wood and wrap it all around was that my three days I was supposed to spend in the hospital, I spent three weeks in the hospital with my newborn. They started treating the wound because they said they cannot stitch it back because the wound has to be healed first before they can treat it back. So every morning they will come with their chemical or whatever it is, clean up the wound and cover it back again. So once they come like this, I'll like I'll be happy that guys. So I, I hope this time around the wound will have been, you know, healed. So I spent three days, three weeks in the hospital, and while that was going on, I did not have my bath. I did not have my bath, guys. Ask me, I survive. I don't know, but I knew I survived. So what my mom will always do in the morning is she'll get water and towel and use it to clean my body and my leg. That was how I was able to stay clean during that period. So guys, to cut the long story short, guys, I was always praying. I was so depressed. I was so, I was not happy. Like somebody that just had a newborn that is supposed to be happy, that is supposed to be at home, that families will come around to come and be pain visits you know checking on the baby that did not happen we even have to name the baby you know after seven days you have to name the baby the naming ceremony was done in the hospital and you know my i had a son and my son was supposed to be circumcised as well that did not happen because they were scared of infection guys i went through hell having this my son i kept praying i said god you made this journey easy for me why is it not now that I've had my baby that I'm supposed to be happy, that I'm supposed to be rejoicing, that you're not making me go through this problem? If I have wronged you, please forgive me. I was so depressed. Every morning I kept complaining. So guys, as God will have his way, as God decided to show mercy for me, so that was a, from nowhere, God used the chief medical doctor of that hospital to solve my problem so on that same fateful day the chief medical doctor resume and you know as part of their practice they have to go around the world to check on the patient and that was i came into my ward and was like ah madam congratulations you have your baby how far how are you doing so he went through my record and he discovered that i've been in the hospital for three weeks doing what and guys before then a day before that day they, they were already make, making plans to transfer me to UCH because the treatment, they kept treating me, even the antibiotics I was taking, they, kept, they gave me strong antibiotics. So at that period, I have to stop breastfeeding my baby because the antibiotics were so strong. So I was advised to stop breastfeeding my baby. So at a point, they noticed that all the antibiotics was not working, all the treatment they were giving me was not working. So they were making plans to transfer me to UCH. And if you're in a battle, I know UCH guys, if your issue has resolved to usage, that means it has gotten to something else. Plans are ready to transfer me to the 
the University College Teaching Hospital that is attached to the University of Ibadan. So, but I got, as God will have it, you know, I think God now decided to hear my cry, decided to like, babe, I don't hear you now. No, wahala, let me solve your problem. So that was that. God came in in a form of the medical director. That's the uh, CMD. So the guy has been on leave for the past three weeks. So he just resumed. He resumed the day I was supposed to be transferred to the university teaching college teaching hospital. So he came into my ward. He congratulated me. I was like, guys, um, congratulations. He checked through my record and he discovered that I've been in the hospital for three whole weeks. Like, what is going on? So after many investigation, after many explanation, so it was like, why are you guys keeping this woman here? You don't need to keep her here. She just had a new baby. Let her go home and you know. So he, he suggested that they should get me an original awning. That was just the 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 simple solution to my problem original only that every morning once they are treating the wound they should apply the original only guys that was what sorted my problem when i heard that guys you need to see my reaction you need to see how happy i was like finally i am going home after three weeks okay but i was asked to be coming every three three days for the treatment of the wound because the treatment has to continue but while they are treating it they have to apply the original on it to me and to god be the glory that was that i was discharged from the hospital so i went to with my baby boy so i was going to the hospital for treatment every three three week every three three days so i think i did that for like one week guys before you know it all the water that was coming from the wound everything healed up all this so everything has already healed up as in god as in you don't want to know the magic that only did compared to all those strong strong antibiotics they've been giving me just only only was just the solution to my problem and i have to be operated again guys i was scheduled or scheduled for another operation again i need people be asking what operation again yes I have to be operated again they have to stitch up back the wound that got infected that was to god be the glory the surgery was successful i was fine and i was asked to have my bath but guys i know try i'm not trying because i don't want to be that touch so i stayed like three days after the second surgery that was when i had my bath guys you don't want to know I really enjoyed myself after feeling was so refreshing in short then the sleep I slept that day you guys don't want to know anyway to call the long story short everything went well we were okay baby was fine so we have to go back again to circumcise the baby so I'm just sharing this story okay not just to like put fear in any awaiting mom or any pregnant subscriber i'm just trying to encourage by sharing this story i'm trying to encourage you that in whatever situation you find yourself don't give up on god god will always come true for you when it is the right time never give up because at that point i nearly give up i gave up but god showed himself he showed himself so guys please i'm just trying to encourage you out there if you're going through any challenges any problem right now never give up give up on god god will always come true for you so if you enjoyed this my video guys please can you give the video a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel can you subscribe to my channel notification bell so once i upload a new video it gets notified so guys this the end of our story time see you guys in my next video bye guys